Hello, hello. How is everyone doing? How is everyone doing? Is this AV1 quality? Um, no, it's not. Uh, right now, I'm I'm streaming on uh, Linux directly on my 1490, and I use the old version of OBS. I'm not using the beta one right now. So we are just streaming like in uh, quote normal quality, which I'm pretty sure is uh, super decent. I ho I hope it is. Happy Friday, everyone. How are you doing? Cheers. Man, I'm zoomed in, I think, huh? Pre zoomed in here. Can we, can we do something about it? Ah. Better. Hey, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. So what are we going to do today? That's uh, the question at 2 million, uh, 2 million euro. <laughs> <laughs> um what we're gonna do is pretty simple like i'm gonna show you how like what is defiant x defiant it's it's a new game which is in beta right now i think or alpha everybody can have access to it i got a key by watching a streamer on on twitch and um when you get this key you you go into your ubisoft account and you just add the game i believe it's gonna be a free free to play game and it's kind of like a mix between, uh, I would say, Apex Legends and Call of Duty. So it's more like an arena type of game, but you got the ability of, of Apex Legends for each of your characters. Um, so I'm going to show you how to install that. And I'm going to show you how it runs on Linux. It's, it's actually pretty simple. But... I guess nobody did it, so here we are. Let's see what we can we can do that properly. So let's go through the game first. Oh, so this is my desktop. Norm normally, I don't share my desktop, uh, but that's that's my desktop. I did reinstall like Linux. I was running Endeavor OS before, and I went like full um, full Garuda this time. I wanted to give it a try, and, and I have to admit, pretty impressed by Garuda. Uh, video incoming on that too, but it's it's pretty good, dude. It's pretty, pretty good. So that's the game, X Defiant. Again, if you want to get a key, like I can tell, like, uh, uh, Jules, you, you didn't get one key, but it's pretty easy to get. Just, just watch a streamer. And on, on Twitch, and you will get a key right, right off the bat. I got one in less than one hour. So X Defiant, Ubisoft World Collide in a free-to-play first-person area shooter where you can compete to be the best in the face-paced online matches. Well, okay, why not? Um, we'll see how it goes, okay? I already played it, but that's the game. Is it going to be the next big thing? I'm, I'm not sure. Okay, but I do understand why people like it. And the first question is like, can we play on Linux, right? Because obviously, like, this is our thing. We are trying to do a lot of things on Linux, actually everything. And after some research, I have this guy, Linux support. Will there be a support at least for Stream Deck and Linux Linux? At least it will be playable through Proton compatibility layer. So it was four days ago. Um, so here, at the other post, Ubisoft is hiring for a Linux system engineer for X Defiant. We are looking for highly talented, motivated, and experienced person to work with us. Uh, can I? Yeah. To work with us uh, on X Defiant. Blah, 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 blah. Expand and improve the Snowdrop engine presence on Linux. Optimize engine game code. Debug and refactor system as need to take the best advantage of Linux. So, dude, when I see that, I'm fairly optimistic, okay? Because Ubisoft 
by hiring someone is willing to put time and energy aka dude aka cash into linux so when you have a big company like that yeah you know, ubisoft are not perfect don't get me wrong but like when when i see like a company like that uh being motivated and putting money behind their mouth that's good so work with the rest of the engineering staff to expand the cross-platform mindset hey hello prasad Hello, Osqueen as a gamer. Guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. Create and maintain physical dignity. So you can see, dude, you can see that, you know, there is motivation there. So C++ experience building Linux based product. Understanding a low level of optimization, core subsystem, memory management, cross-platform development. So you, you, you see, it's it's pretty good. Dude. So they are willing to go toward Linux, which which is for me like mind blowing. So here is his experience of the user. So we have Kirote here. We're seeing it worked, but kicked out. But I got kicked out from a running match after one to two minutes. Reason, poor network quality. So this is not related to Battle Eye, I guess. Getting the same error on the Steam Deck, disappointing. Probably won't cause of anti-cheat. Okay. But listen, chat. The good news is like, it is working. Prasad, I'm doing well. What, what about you, buddy? Is this about Ubisoft? No, it's about a game called X Defiant. And Ubisoft is hiring people to develop the game on Linux. <laughs> That's pretty dope, dude. And when you look at it, you might might be thinking it's because of the um, of the server base, right? But when you go in the job description, you can see it's not for the server base. I I think it's for you see understanding low level of optimization cross subsystem cross platform development. So to me, it, they are developing a Linux version of this game. I got the game to launch, but the anti sheet doesn't work on Linux yet. I had to boot on Windows to get into a match. Hey, hello the ACP. Well, I'm gonna show you how it works because. It's perfectly working on my end. So, and someone else like ba like obviously like jump on there, um, and and watch, like you know, as well of it and and went there. So so we have a lot of like movement in the Linux world, and it doesn't seem big right now. But for me, the idea is that a company is willing to hire someone to develop on Linux. On purpose is actually a great news. It's a great news because it's a change of mind. And if it starts from the developer, he might be good for us. Because now, like Activision is going to be thinking, well, Ubisoft launched their game on Linux. Why are we not on Linux? And, and, and even if the answer for them is no, they are in a position when they have to ask themselves a question. And be well. Linux is there. Competition is doing it. Why are we not doing it? Whether they, they say we are doing it or not, it's another, it's another topic, right? But at least now, because the competition is doing it, they have to take that in consideration really hardly. And I think this is good. I think this is really good. Okay, so now let's get into the install. I'm going to show you how make the game work because I've been playing for one hour already. Game is working perfectly on Linux. Uh, I, I made a tweet about it yesterday. You will see it's, it's pretty dope. Let's let's get into the weed. Okay, I'm gonna close this window real quick. Oh, I need to show you. I need to show you. Look at this. Oh la 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 la, dude. Look at this. 
Oh. Oh, yes. Don't you think this is insane? Seems pretty dope to me, dude. I really like my desktop, chat. I really like my desktop. Okay, let's go back there. So, um... I'm gonna start Lutris. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Thank you, dude. <laughs> I love it. I don't know why. I'm... I love it. So, here is the thing. Um... You need to install Ubisoft Connect. To do that, super easy. Click on plus here. You say you type on search here and you type Ubisoft. You wait. Up, it pops up. You grab your tea. Cheers, happy Friday again, everyone. Click here. Follows install, okay? So I'm using Lutris on this one. I don't use bottles. You can use bottle if you want. The, the idea is just to install Ubisoft Connect. So I won't go through it. You just go with the latest, because huh? you have you have multiple options here. But you just go with install here, with this one. And then it's going to install it. So I, I've done it already. It's there. Uh, now it's installed. I'm going to show you my configuration. So before I do that, I just want to make sure that there is nothing personal there. I don't think it is, but I, that's why I don't share my, my desktop a lot because I'm always scared I'm going to share stuff I don't need to share. Um, okay, so what did I change here? Actually, I did change nothing. Oh yeah, okay, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you everything. Don't be worried. Okay, so let's go back there. So you right-click on that, you go on Configure, okay? Hey, hello Roy, how are you doing? You click on Configure here. It's going to show you the configuration of of this one, okay? And look at this. L look at this, dude. Don't tell me you don't like it. Okay, so this, you don't touch. Game option, you don't touch. Runner. Here, I'm going to show you my runner version, okay? So I got the system, 8.5. I got a wine 8.6 staging uh, with a patch of TKG. Maybe one day I'm going to make a video or to, like, for you how to get it. It's pretty easy. Uh, this is a GFRO, like, Lutris. And this is the latest, like, Proton G Lutris version. So it's wine. It's not Proton, okay? It's wine G based on Proton. All right, so that's, that's the one I use for this game, okay? Here, um, everything is default. The only thing I change, and if you are streaming, this is something you're going to need to take in consideration. You go in system option here. Um, so here I put Vulkan and CD loader. I put the NVIDIA proprietary because this is the graphic card I use. And the other thing I use is this command prefix here. You want to add OBS game capture. So I use that to capture my content when I stream. It, it's really good. Okay. Um, the, 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 the name on GitHub, if you want to install this package, is OBS-VK capture. Okay. And it gives you the opportunity with the NVIDIA driver to capture everything that go to the um, uh, Vulkan processing. Okay, that's, that's the idea. It doesn't work with OpenGL, but it does work with Vulkan. And most of the games, they go for Vulkan anyway, so... Okay, so now I'm going to launch it again. Nothing crazy here. I'm just going to go back to the normal version. Oh, it's... it's I'm done. It's already launched. I didn't even see it. So it's here, you see? I launch it. Now I'm going to start the game. Up, oh, starting the game. Uh, we should be there uh, anytime soon. I put a Docker server in my Raspberry Pi 4 and filling it with container. Now I have 12 containers, which includes Jellyfin, Torrent Client, and others. Safe to say, my P is not happy. <laughs> yeah, I think you went a little bit crazy today. <laughs> 
<laughs> but good for you if you are enjoying it. That's the beauty of open source. You can do whatever you want. Okay, so we are in the game. That's all. That's all you have to do. So when you, obviously, like when you install the client, you need to download the game and start it. That's all. Okay. Uh, you got the FPS there. Top. We are in the menu at 300, uh, whatever. Um, let's go to the practice zone real quick. I'm going to show you some settings. So super important. If you are using an NVIDIA card and using X11, I really encourage you guys to get rid of VSync, especially if you are playing competitive game. Is There is nothing really to touch We're within X11 to make it work properly, but like I've seen a lot of like misinformation toward. Um, okay, so yeah, one important thing, chat. So you see my FPS there. I only have only have 300 FPS, and right now, like I, I'm seeing that because at the moment I turn the camera, I feel like I have a, a small input lag. Okay, and I'm really really um, aware of that. It kind of like tap on my nerve. Okay. So you can't feel it, but like when I move my mouse here, I can feel like a, a slight delay. And you're like, Air Max, you told us that the game is working perfectly. And here it's my mistake. The only thing you need to do, whether you are using XFXT, KDE, GNOME or whatever, you need to make sure your compositor is off. Because the game is going to work, but it's not going to work at full capacity, okay? So you see the FPS up there, we are at like what, like 270, 290, game is struggling, okay? Now watch. I just remove the compositor, okay? I, I have a shortcut for that. On KDE, it's Alt, Shift, plus F F12. Look my FPS now. We are almost at 400 FPS. I almost double the FPS, chat. And now I don't have any input lag okay so we are running a game which is in beta which is not even like released on linux and i'm telling you we got fps dude I, uh, we we got a lot of fps so let me show you and i'm, I'm streaming too hello one so let's see the setting i don't care about that i want to see the video setting okay um, so we have this. I'm not sure it's actually enabled. The NVIDIA Reflex. I put it. I put it there, but I, I'm not sure it's on. Maybe something I'm gonna have to double check. Okay. Now let me show you something. VSync off, obviously. And yeah, we are at high setting, high ultra setting right now. That that's the type of FPS you get with a 1490 and a old generation CPU. Like if I had, let's say like a latest generation CPU, I'm pretty sure I would have at least 15% boost in FPS. So we are at like 420 right now, 15% will be at a solid 480. But this is the thing, like I, I don't have the need right now to buy a new CPU, but you know, if you have the latest of the latest, it's going to give you an idea, right? Yeah, it's, it's, the game is fluid, dude. Like, this is extremely fluid. I'm playing in 1440p, streaming at the same time. So I'm going to be, we're going to have an overhead of like maybe like 5% while streaming because of OBS. Allez, 5 to 10 percent. I made a video. Um, when was it? Last week? Where I explained how many FPS you, you actually lose. Hmm. Okay, I can jump here. Uh, the, the graphics are astonishing, dude. 
I didn't know Compositor had that much overhead. Yes, they have a huge overhead. I, I made a video about it like one year ago where I explained like what is really important to do when you, you know, when you want a game on Linux. And I, I believe like the most important thing, th 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 there is two things to do. V-Sync off, if you're on NVGA or anything anyways, V-Sync off. And second one is like disable the Compositor. If you didn't do that, you are looking for trouble. Dude. You're going to blame Linux, but it's not a Linux issue. It's a user issue. You look like you know your way around a firing range. Try some different loadouts. Hey, I'm still, I still got it, chat. Okay, so this is without me controlling it. I still got it, dude. I bet I don't get as much FPS in Apex as I could because I haven't disabled the compositor. I need to test that. Dude, I made a video where I explain all the points you need to go through. Please watch it and rewatch it because this is only the two major things you need to, to do, right? I put like 15 of them in my video. Like 15 of them, dude. Hostile numbers declining rapidly. Okay. So you got it. You install the trees. So you get a key on Twitch. You get the key, create an account on Ubisoft, go on Ubisoft. Enter the key, get access to the game, install Lutris, install Ubisoft, uh, whatever name, like software they have via Lutris. Okay? When it's installed, log in into it, download the game. And here you are. Simple as that. Additional hostiles neutralized. Simple as that, dude. You are in the game. You need to disable V-Sync, obviously, and disable the compositor if you have one. Man, this game... Okay, so... I've been playing a little. What I can tell you is, like, the feeling of, like, moving around uh, and aiming is, is really good. Like, you have this, you know, this fluidity type of, like, Apex. It's not Apex, I think it's a little bit under, but it feels good to move around and jump and... ...the game itself, right? As you can see, the FPS, they are decent. <laughs> right? Um, can I test the matchmaking? Oh yeah, I played, I played already, it's gonna be working. I played yesterday, like, maybe like three or four games. Maybe they changed something, but I, I don't think so. I'm gonna do domination. So it's an are arena game, okay? Uh, you play in a closed environment against other players. I don't think there is mm, SBMM. Because I played against really, really good players <clears throat> and also really, really bad players when I tried it. For a free game, I say it's a pretty decent game. Well, it's in beta, so if it is this good in beta, I'm, I have my hope at the high places. Yeah, it, it could be a good game. Again, like it's a... We'll play like maybe two two hours today, just, just to have an idea, maybe a little bit less. It's not my cup of tea, guys. I want to be honest with you. Arena game. I played that since I have like I'm really young, like really really young. I'm I'm not into that anymore. Like it's not, but the game is good. Okay. I'm I'm more into BR these days. They don't have skill based machine in the beta at least. So skill in a match, it's over. It's all over the place. Yeah, I could tell. I could tell, dude. <laughs> 
I'm, I'm a noob huh, in this type of game. I know how to aim a little bit. <laughs> just, just a little bit. But the game itself, I don't have the mechanic of the movement for sure. I don't know nothing about the ability. I know nothing about the game. I just know how to aim. Is this called platform? Yes, it is. So I build a loadout. Nah. Not even sure if it's right. I need to make a video on the NVIDIA driver, dude, and NVIDIA on Linux because, dude, I've, I've, see, I've seen like so many misinformation about those, like this is, this is stupid. Bro. So I know I'm not like a big YouTuber, but I have a lot of information to share because I've been using NVIDIA for like, for like uh, more than a year now, on a daily basis, like I'm just not like, you know, seeing I have an NVIDIA card, like. Oh, he got me, dude! <laughs> I'm detecting hostiles on zone C. So yeah, you have to think like this is the morning, so we're gonna be playing against the uh, people who play all day, right? So I might get destroyed. It's like me when I play on Apex. I'm telling you the my stream on Apex. There are another level of the. Wow! 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 wow. Got him. Nah, I don't think so. Dude. Ah, nice shot. I watched some of the CMD Pro play and learn a bit of the movement. It's about using the momentum of the slide jump to move fast. Yeah. Just trying to, you know, to feel the game a little bit more right now. And then we're going to be jumping around and stuff. What is this? <laughs> I got on, dude. So as you can see, like the, the FPS are decent, huh? Like 1414p while streaming. I've seen worse than chat. Sound is not bad either. Feel like I hear stuff. Team capturing zone C. Going for zone B. Wow. On the scope in zone B. How did he one tap me like that? That's insane. We got an MP7. Maybe I should switch gun. We kill each other? Zone secured. Yeah. Okay. Uh, time to kill sometimes is really long. Huh? Oh boy. Hostiles 
hostiles on the scope in zone B. <laughs> I'm detecting hostiles on zone C. Team capturing zone C. Man, this guy was struggling really hard, boys. Friendly's going for zone B. Capture zone secured. I don't see my name in the kill feed. I just noticed. I was trying to see like. Are winning. Whoa. Can I climb? Oh yeah, I can. So yeah, that's, that's the type of game you can expect. Um, we're gonna try different mode, obviously. But the, the, the goal already of this stream was just to show you that we can run the game. Okay. About to lose B. Friendly's on B. We can run the game, which is pretty dope. A lot of of exchange. Huh? I have my ult right now, so we we'll see see what we can do with it. On zone C. I think you can one tap everyone with the ult. I just couldn't. Oh, they left. Damn! Allies on B. <laughs> okay, I think I start to get the idea of my character. I need to use my ability a little bit more. Oh, it doesn't show it to you too? Interesting. Revenge kill. A professional courtesy. Zone secured. And did you want tap him? Try to escape. Uh, what a bad play from me. Are we winning? We are, dude. I think I got art carry chat. I got art carry, dude. That's my third game or something like that, but... It's almost like you've done this before. As I said, um, we are... But simple as that. We are streaming. We are playing. On the same PC, on Linux, dude. Yeah, I got, I got art carried. <laughs> Look at this. Hey, GPS, I'm not the last one. Before last? <laughs> With my level one, dude. Hey, 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 hey. Not that bad, buddy. Not that bad. I'm, I'm gonna try a new gun, maybe now. 
Oh, oh, that's why they are better than me, dude. You got the idea? Okay, so this is the type of thing I don't like. Okay, that's the type of thing that just... It's just despising me when you play a game and you are not playing with the same weapons than everybody else. Like, this is something that tap on my nerves. It. Because what it means, is means this level 22, he certainly has a better gun than me. So he has less recoil, he has better visibility, uh, less ADS time. Like, it's, he's not playing the same game as, as I do. I, that's why I don't play uh, Call of Duty too. Like this idea of leveling up the weapon to me is just stupid. Like it's, it doesn't make a fair game if everybody doesn't have uh, the same weapon in my opinion, but I don't know. I'm just saying. What do you think, chat? D do you think it's fair? It's like, hey, hello, I'm coming with a nuclear... Uh, Nuclear gun, and you have a, <laughs> a PKO ace, dude. From the Second World War. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> Enjoy. That doesn't seem really fair to me, dude. Or what it means, it means I have to play the game more. So if this guy can spend... 12 hours a day on the game, he has he has an advantage toward me. Not because he's better than me, just because he has more time than me. Not fair, dude. I hope that they're gonna... We'll see. We're gonna try the ranked place too, because there is a ranked system. So we're gonna try it, dude. So let's try another gun for science. Can I do that? Yeah, I can. Wow, okay, 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 okay. Um, Yeah, the MP7 seems fun. Like the guy. This op's a bit raucous for the Echelon playbook, but I'm sure you'll manage. Three, two, one. Your mission is to secure the capture zones. I'm detecting hostiles on zone C. Friendlies capturing zone A. Capture zone secured. Hostiles on the scope in zone B. Yeah, I'm just... I want to go full ADS time. Okay, and the other again. I don't care, so... Yeah, let's do that. Loadout updated. Oh, I should I should be Friendly going for zone I should B. be flying dude. Capture zone A is at risk. Ah, I missed my shot, GG. Get that was a play there, just hold, get the zone. Whoa, 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 whoa. At some point, some add-on are basically OP. Yeah, I agree. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is there a dude with a, a sniper there? What the? I almost shoot the Santa Claus chat. Ha <laughs> ha! 
got him so good. Okay. I, re I really like this gun, dude. I think I'm gonna play more with that. Whoa, it was behind me. Capture zone secured. <gasps> He's running with the snipe? I like the style of this dude. Oh, I got me still, dude. Uh, I'm streaming your video on TikTok. Um, no, it's not cool, dude. Don't use my content, please. It's not cool at all. I think they fixed some of the stuff for the last few days. I booted up the same install on my Linux installed three days ago. Ah, it was not working like a week? Okay. Boof! I got owned, boys! Pas français, si si je suis français. Oh, I miss so bad, dude. Oh la 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 la. Yeah, I shouldn't take this fight. It's stupid for me. I think the damage go down depending on the distance. Because you see, I connect a lot with this gun. I connect a lot, but I don't do that much of damage when I'm far. Yeah, the, the way they build the inside, I have FPS drop, but I think it's linked to the game. You see, the FPS there are not great. Maybe I should, you know, lower them a little bit. 
I think the FPS drop was related to the, the map itself. GG. Hey, not bad. I was... Dude, I had the highest score in my... In my... Uh, in my team. Not bad, chat. I'm gonna lower the graphic. Try to play a little bit with them just to make sure. I wanna have like 270 plus all the time. That's all the rest, I don't care. Um. Yeah, we don't need that. What? How did you get the Delta? How did I get the Delta error? I, I never had it. I just installed it. Uh, please watch the stream uh, at the beginning and I explain how. Oh, I made it work, okay? But there is nothing crazy to do, like it just works. Might have to restart the game after the change I made. We'll see how it goes, chat. If I get a 300 plus constant, I will be better than what we're achieving right now. Because I have deep at 240, 260, and I can feel it a little bit. Hey, thank you, Lowy. No worries, dude. I like the MP7. Not Frenchy. <laughs> okay, bro. I'm happy they plan on supporting Linux officially. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. Uh, I was talking about it also at the beginning of the of the stream. They are hiring a Linux dev for the game, which is cool. I hope it's gonna happen more often in the you know industry. Is that my Cry 6? Yeah, that's right. It looks like it. It looks like it, dude. Good call. Oh, I talk about it. Okay, got it, got it. Yeah. Hello? Wait, I, wait until I get the movement, bro. Wait a little bit until I get the movement. I'm telling you, I'm gonna be disgusting at this game. I couldn't see me, bro. 
<laughs> oh, it was awesome. I couldn't shoot him too because he had this big shield on his face. Ooh, ooh. Okay, the game is free chat. Like, it's it's actually enjoyable. Like, I have to say, I, I don't like the style of this game because it's I'm not my my cut of tea. Friendlies capturing zone A. Oh oh. But like the feeling of the game, the you know, like having a character that go fast and it's actually so good. Oh, I can jump here down. Are they even playing the, the team against us? Like, what is happening? Oh, they are not playing, that's why. Oh, there's no way they are playing. That's just, they are just getting owned. So what I noticed is like when you... When you spawn... Oh, he was behind me! Nice play, dude! Whoa! Oh, nice shot. Yeah, I'm not saying like when you spawn, your FPS go a little bit lower, you can feel it. And sorry I'm talking so much about FPS, but... I like to get my, my FPS, you know? Friendly capturing zone a. I think it's part of the game, I don't think it's Linux related. Good work, agent. Zone secured. Team capturing zone C. Where was he? Oh, nice shot, buddy. This guy has been owning me like this not crunchy dude. Like, good for him. Our side is succeeding. Maintain these tactics. Friendly moving on C. Capture zone secured. Friendly zombie. Revenge kill. A professional courtesy. Oh, I we killed him, okay. Zone. Good work, agent. Zone secured. Zone A under assault. Okay, 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 let's go, let's go. I don't know if it's really nice and enjoyable to watch, to be fair, but... Yeah, you see, when I take this 1v1, I know I'm gonna lose because they have weapon who have better DPS at a high range. So I really need to cut the distance. Okay, GG. That was good. That was fun, actually. You got the win, agent. <sighs> Those poor guys, they got annihilated, like...
Uh, did you know that Ubisoft? Yeah, I was talking about it at the beginning of the stream. It's it's actually insane. Man, some of those guys did so much damage. But you see, he's level 24, so I'm guessing he has like crazy gun. <laughs> Look at the difference, dude. <laughs> the heck? Oh yeah, and you see they die way more than I do. Like the ratio is not is not great. Hmm, maybe I should be playing more aggressive. I, I I don't really know this game chat. This guy was a number one with 10 kill and 24 death. The heck? Listen, chat, the future of uh, Linux is brilliant. The main thing I do to get a lot of kills is think about enemy spawns. Mm, yeah, good. So you do spawn killing, right? That's, that's a good point, buddy. It's, uh, you know, it's the first time for me playing the game, so I'm like... I'm going with the flow here, just trying to understand a little bit of the abilities. Hey, hello, Chirp. Um, how do I get access? Uh, you go watch someone on Twitch for like one hour and you will Domination. get a key. This off's a bit raucous for the Echelon playbook, but I'm sure you'll manage. <laughs> That's right, Enchu. It's thanks to our Lord and Savior, Gabe Newell. Dude, it, it did the job. Your mission is to secure the capture zone. With the Steam Deck, you can say whatever you want, dude, but... Capturing zone a. I'm detecting hostiles on zone C. Anyone on Twitch? Uh, someone who is playing the game, dude. I don't know if they are still distributing key, like, they were yesterday. I got the key yesterday. Like, this room is really around, like... Like showing the fact that we can play on Linux. What the? What the? I'm in two FPS, but not in this type of FPS. I think that's the type of game which are like really fun for 10 minutes for me. Oh, he was hidden behind me. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to change my mind about it. Who knows? I kind of like it. Dude, the amount of heals they have is just insane. play with a nade the sorry the mine the mine the mine try the nade it didn't work 
Got him. Mm, nice shot, nice shot. Capture zone A is at risk. Friendly capturing. <laughs> Was a heal, dude. Yeah, I think it's good. It's it's a fun game, dude. You know, when when I see a game like that, I'm always thinking like, can I stream it every day, right? That's that's how I think, right? It does, it doesn't mean the game is bad. Whoa! Nice push. Getting flanked. Capture right zone secured. Oh. Oh, it's a bad idea, dude. <laughs> really bad idea. I'm gonna be more annoying than behind the line, I think. It's more appropriate for my character. My crouch is not good. That's why maybe I can do whatever I want. Wait, 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 dude. Hostiles on the scope in zone B. Why is not old to crouch? We're winning. Keep it up, agent. Why, dude? You can't do that? Ah, voila! Nice! Friendly's locking down zone C. Zone secured. Oh! I think I'm gonna be able to. Ah, yes! What? Allies on B. Okay, was he, huh? About to lose B. Hey, Sulit Grave, how are you doing, buddy? Okay, chat, give me one second. I need to do something. I will be right back. Okay, I'm still here. I'm doing okay, bud. Thanks for asking. You should try the vector. Okay, I'm gonna give it a try. Okay, give me one second, chat. I need to do something.
just need to take some pills. I've been a little bit sick those days. So. That's why I didn't stream that much. I don't want it to be the to topic of the stream, but... Allies on B. <sighs> <laughs> a lot of a lot of stuff to take. Give me one second, okay? I will be back. Up, up, up. Hope my teammates are not going to be upset. Oh, here we go. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that chat. All good. That was fun. You're off your game, agent. I know I'm off my game. I know, I know. Uh, let's restart. I'm going to restart the game. See if we can get more... Get my FPS, dude. <laughs> okay, give me one second. Okay. Something I don't like the way like the menu are going on is that um, it's pretty slow to restart a game and everything. I feel like I, I spend a lot of time in loadings. But again, it's just my perception, right? Leave the lobby, yes. Leave the game, yes. We need to restart it. Restarting the game, chat. Yeah, they do la uh, they do have a long game startup. I agree. Like uh, we are in twenty twenty four almost. Like loading time is, is more like it, it's so nineties. Not twenty twenty, dude. I'm I'm just saying. Oh, we're gonna continue to play, then we're gonna go ranked. Let's do hot shot. I, I don't know what it is. Game are also getting bigger. That's true, but they should still be taking in consideration the fact that, um, you know, like people have higher expectations in general. Competing shaders? Dude, we are not competing shaders since uh, I think like six months on Linux. Oh, we are still compiling them. Okay, we, we compile them, but not as hard as it was before. <laughs> like before, dude, when I did my first uh, video on Apex Legends, listen, man, you had to wait ages. Like, I don't know, maybe like 15 games to make sure you don't have stutter anymore. Now it's like butter smooth. Hogwarts? Yeah, you're right. Hogwarts, you have to compile every star. <laughs> no, okay, I agree. But you now you just do it at the beginning. And then you don't do it, don't do it anymore. Hey, hello, Jeff. What's up, buddy? Yeah, I'm going to do that again. You do it at the beginning and then it's done. Like, I'm talking like 12 months ago, it was doing while you game. Which was horrible. 
you will be playing and something will pop up and then <laughs> your game will freeze, right? Okay, so I reduced the quality. We went from like really high to something else. Wow, it looked good, huh? And we have like 300 plus. I think I was a good... Oh, nice. Nice move. So what do I need to do? I think I need to grab those things on the ground, huh? When I kill someone. First hostile hot shot on the scope. Track and terminate. Okay, so I need to die a little bit less, I guess. Oh, he got it! Can he grab the one from... Like, how does this work, this, this uh, mod? Like... Ah, I can grab all of the ones they have. Interesting, dude. Okay. He saw me! <laughs> he saw me, dude! Hey, hello, Cody Mac. Oh, we're gonna go back up. Listen to me, dude. If I'm the hot shot. Holy fuck, I need to know where I am. Oh no, he got me! He got me, dude! Enemy hot shot is active. Neutralize immediately. Okay, this mod is actually fun. It's kind of new to me, you know, like this, this new mod. I like it. No, it's, it's different. Oh, I missed the shot. Nice. Mm. I want to replay on this one, dude. I think the game is more CPU bound than GPU bound. Yeah, it makes sense.
Mm. Yeah, this guy was ab abusing the move. Like he had way better moves than I did. New hot shot is a tango. Sending coordinates. We're facing mission failure, agent. Doing pretty well, chat. Enemy hot shot is on fire. Extinguish yeah. their streak. Grenades away. Mm. Yeah, we had it close, but took out their hot shot. Good <laughs> You're up, hot shot. Keep a cool head and get those down. Enemy hot streak. Oh, I didn't have a move, man. Nice shot, dude. The new hot shot is a friendly. Cover them. What I like about this game is the way your aim reacts. It's really satisfying to shoot stuff. Like it's, I have to say, like, in my opinion, it's better than Call of Duty. Okay, we can win this game, dude. Courtesy. Should have taken cover there, dude. Ah, sometimes there is a lot of clutter. I don't know if it makes sense, boys, but like, I start to shoot and I can't really see what I'm shooting at. Oh, we won! <laughs> we did it, chat! That was fun, dude. That was fun, man. Okay, I like this mod. Whoa, number two in score. Let's go! I have 40 bounty collected, buddy. 40. This mod is fun. We're gonna play it a little bit more. I kind of like it because you have to play as a team, and but you also have to play like for the bounty. You need you need to play for everything. I think this game has a lot of promise. Yeah, it's it. Listen, dude, I I wouldn't close the door directly, okay, on this game. I'm just saying, um, maybe you guys like watching it, okay. But I'm not sure if it's a game which is really enjoyable to watch. Because let's say you, you know, you you watch this stream for like 12 hours a day and me doing always the same thing. I'm, I'm not sure if you're going to enjoy it. What I really like about PUBG, Tarkov, and a little bit less with Apex Legends is like, each time I jump out of the plane or I start a raid, there is a story, right? It's fun. It's an enjoyable to watch. Here, it's just like, boom, 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 you know? Is it like a COD style uh, multiplayer game? Yeah, that's what it is. It's uh, ba like it's developed by Ubisoft. Game itself is good. It's just the style. I think it's a little bit repetitive. They come with this new mod like this one, which is, in my opinion, interesting. Um, and the promise for us, Linux user, <laughs> is that uh, you can play on Linux. They, they just um, hired, uh, they put a job online to hire a Linux developer for the game. Hey, see you, Roy. Ha have a good one, buddy. Thanks for passing by again. It could be a fun mix-up. I agree, though. Other games are more interesting story every game. Yeah. 
Uh, don't get me wrong. Like, if you just want to play at home, it's fun. Like, you know, you go, you go back from work, start the game, want to kill some dude, no problem, you got it. Like, the, this, this aspect is actually yeah, enjoyable. Uh, I think I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try this one, yeah. With the heal, I, I don't know if it's gonna work exactly, but we're gonna try. <laughs> okay, dude. Yeah, I should have used my... map I'm not not sure I like it for this mode but nice shot nice shot you know he has guy okay I didn't hear him until she actually shoot me. Yeah. Well, how do I kill this guy? Dude. It's tough because, like, I'm I'm legit trying my best, okay, but I don't know the map. I need to support the hot shot. I think this is this is how I win this game. I'm gonna be behind this guy and give him some heal, right? What is this Q for? Whoa, 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 whoa. They overthrew our hot shot. They got another hot shot. Put them on ice. 
Man, I heard him. Went back and. Enemy hotshot is down, but they're like weeds. More will pop up. The new hotshot is one of us. Keep them collected. Getting owned this game, chat. The enemy's winning. Time to fight dirty. Whoa! Oh, got caught out so hard, dude. Yeah, so Chot is a guy with a shield. You can kill him, dude. Just running around and owning everyone. That's a good strat. I think it's game over chat. We we got owned. Like we literally got owned. Oh, can you die, Boski? Crazy. Grab bounties from dead enemies. Become the hot shot. We know how this works. They got another hot shot. Put them on ice. What? I think sometimes there is a little bit of this thing too, because I get shot when I'm really undercover. Like you can tell. Because I was behind the wall and I still got shot. Like the angle was like that. So I, I would look up thinking the guy was up. And then I took the line and the guy was around here. That's not me becoming crazy. It's just this thing. Did you? Good game. Good game, good game, chat. You need to use a nade or go behind the shield guy. Hmm. Yeah, that's this type of game. You really want to have a, a solid ping. Dude, I play, I play trash and I'm here. Dude. I play really bad and I'm a second top damage of my team. So yeah, not, not good. Good game though. That was fun. So I guess this is a battle pass, huh? I have access to all of them when I'm thinking about it, dude.
Wait, let me check. I think I have access to all of them, dude. Make a choice. Yeah, let's get rid of this dude. Yeah, because I was I was not happy about the fact that you know those games you don't have a, you know if you don't play a lot. you are behind but this is not true there you see like they they unlocked everything for the beta which is good the SCR AR gun is really good gun you should try it okay I'm, I'm gonna try more right now just you know I'm just like testing the water with the SMG I think it's fun try to see if I can change the play style um, I had discover the ability and things like we're gonna start uh, playing with other characters so the, the, the heal one I'm, I'm not fan of it it's more like a support one I'm, I'm pretty sure it's strong but man those loading time okay um Oh, this one, he has a barrier, so those are the one, okay. Reveal enemies and hunt them down with Sam Fisher. Okay, so this is the uh, ult. Digital gear should activate the ability. Periodic sonar, wave, share around position of enemies. Your character does not appear on opponent minimap. Ah, that's good. Let's try that. Becoming the hotshot is cool. Easy trade. This one I choose the guy. Nice. guy hey hello sebastian how are you doing buddy we welcome to the stream <laughs> what, what are you doing bosky <laughs> oh he body blocked me I don't see how I reveal the enemy. Is that on the minimap? Because I tried to reveal this guy. I know he was behind the wall, but... Uh, hello? The wants those hello? Hostiles have a new hot shot. End their streak. Oh, 
Hostile hotshot neutralized. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, it's on the Man, it's on the radar. This thing is useless. Like. This thing is useless, dude. Sending coordinates. Enemy hot shot is active. Neutralize immediately. Like in this type of high pace game, I'm not sure anybody is actually looking at the at the map, dude. Mm, nice shot. Hello, Marcio. Took out their hot shot. Good work. New friendly hot shot. Pushing location to your off that. We got their hot shot. Revenge kill. A professional courtesy. Uh, what? Like this is like this was desync, like hardcore desync. guy didn't even see me. I I'm not sure I like this character, dude. Oh, I have 120 ping? Okay, that's why. Dude, that's why I'm like... Uh, like, I was struggling this game, chat. That's why I'm struggling, dude. I have 120 ping, look. I guess no play, nobody is playing in uh, in any right now. A teammate became the hot shot. Provide covering fire. New hot shot is a tango. Sending coordinates. Hostiles are winning, agent. Need to check if I can put a limit on ping like. Yeah, this type of game you you, you want to have a good ping like revenge kill a professional courtesy our hot shots down i think it might be a linux bug ready Hmm, interesting, dude. I don't know why it would be, but it could be, I guess. Enemy hot shot is active. Neutralize immediately. Enemy sport is soaring. You put a stop to that hot streak. Hostile hot shot. Yeah, I think this character is the best for this type of game. You're acquiring a lot of points, Agent. Keep going. Oh man! I was carrying the team there, dude. I fail. I fail my team chat. Oh, 
<laughs> Good job, bud. I tried to trick him, it didn't work. I have intel on a new enemy hotshot. Check your ops out. Hostile hotshot. The new hotshot is a friendly. Cover them. I feel like half of my bullet did connect on this move. Friendly hot shot, kill the hand. Nice shot, nice shot, nice shot. I had no idea where the guy was coming from, so I tried to hide, but... There is a trick, like, when you when you press the ability... Oh. When you press the ability and don't move, it's really hard for them to spot you, but if you move, it's kind of easy, like, you just pray in the middle and it's good. Extinguish their streak. You're off your game, agent. GG, GG. That was fun. I'm gonna see if there is an option to limit the ping. That would be great. What happened to the graphic? <laughs> yeah, not bad. This game give me uh, Black Ops 2 vibes. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, it, it's it's pretty good. I think uh, for the old school uh, like us, it's going to bring back memory, right? But as I was saying earlier, is that a game I want to spend 12 hours on a day? I don't, I don't know. Uh, let me check that. Give me one second, chat. I don't know what's gonna pop up. Okay, so I have the crossplay. Mm. Just checking if there is some type of like ping option, but. No, there is none, dude. Oh. Okay, so we tried hot shot. Uh, let's try escort. There is no option, so. Wouldn't want you to show us uh, your homework folder. Um, <laughs> Homework, I don't know, but like, uh, yeah. It's just, it, w when I play on an account and stuff, I don't like to share this type of information. Yeah, there is no option. You don't know what's going to pop out, right? Like, some games are totally stupid. I remember, like, uh, Call of Duty, like, the last one, like, Warzone 2. If you press... Like, if you were within, like, the installation and you were streaming that, it would give us your personal information, dude. You know, telling you, like, this is your personal information, do you want to hide them or whatever. So you're on stream and you're like, uh... I don't know. Maybe... Me. <laughs> I, I don't know, dude. <laughs> do I really want to share them now? I guess too late. How are you liking Garuda? I've been using Garuda KD Lite. And I'm really liking it. Hey, hello, fresh guy. Hello, no life. I'm, I'm loving Garuda so far, dude. I, I'm, I'm gonna make a video about it, actually. I think Garuda 
I've, I've been sleeping on Garuda chat. Let, let's be clear. When uh, when I installed Arch, it was like... When was it? It was in November... Uh, November 2021, I guess? Yeah, no November 2021, when I was looking for my, you know, Linux distro. I installed a lot of distro, and then when I realized Arch was really the direction I wanted to, to go on, I didn't want to install like pure Arch because I felt like I had too much work to do. And I, inst I installed Manjaro. Manjaro was the worst experience I ever had. And I switched to Endeavor OS. And I, I look at Garuda and I was like, dude, Garuda, nah. It's, it looked like, you know, childish. They want to be like gamish, you know, gaming type of distribution. But it was my mistake. I made a big mistake there. It's actually really good, dude. Uh, yeah, it, it might sound like there is a lot of blood, but I have 32 gigabytes of RAM, dude. I don't care. <laughs> I I tried two versions this weekend. I installed the gaming one, which is like fully bloated. There is a lot of things on it. But it's not that bloated. Like you, 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 you start, you arrive in your environment, it, it just... It just sucked like two gigabytes of your RAM. Is, is it that bloated? I don't know. Yeah, compared to the Linux Arch, it's, it's certainly bloated, but when you start with the Linux Arch, you have nothing on it. Zero, dude. So it's easy to, to show up uh, in, uh, you know, in the desktop environment and use like 200 megabytes of RAM or whatever, but like... Do I really care? Uh, personally, I don't. I have 32 gigabytes, dude. So it's kind of like a Overwatch type of game here. Right? That's what it is. I'm still using stock KDE. I have no customized my Linux installed much. Um, you know, the, the more thing you add, the more RAM you're gonna use. But I don't think it's a detriment to the game, like if you have a powerful PC, like. think what is bad what is actually bad is when you have like um, a lot lot of um, process which are you know impacting negatively your gaming experience oh he was hiding there oh. I'm not sure I like this much at I do hate the theme they use on their gaming version. Dude, right now, the gaming version theme and the dragoning version, like Dragon Eyes, I think this is how they call it. Is the same. I'm using it right now. And it starts to grow on me, dude. I have to tell you, like, those colors, they were super shiny to me and stuff. I like the flat type of theme. But this, this film is actually growing on me. Kill. A professional courtesy.
If you are, you know, if you are a total noob to Arch. I don't have ammo anymore, dude. Oh, now I do. Nice shot. I think it's a good, a good place to start, to be fair. I, I was thinking as you, dude. Like, the theme is trash. Uh, it's bloated and whatever. But after testing it, I'm, I'm actually surprised of the result. I like it, dude. That's what the video is going to be all about, like... Oh, he got me. Nice shot. Their custom app. The app are great. Again, like, you know... It's, it's a valuable distro. I, I totally, you know, put a, put a cross on it. Being like, no, it's not, it's not good enough. I, I, I was, I was wrong. I have to say it. I, I'm gonna say it to you. I'm gonna say it in the video too. Like, I think I was wrong. I've been sleeping on it. Okay. After you don't like the style, you know, you, you just install a theme, right? Okay, you put uh, Nord or whatever, like whatever type of like style you like. Change the icon. Oh my gosh. Five, four, yeah. Two, one, zero. You know, th there is other stuff I kind of liked. Uh, let let's talk about it. That was hardly by the book, Agent. Um, the other thing I like within it is their approach toward the terminal. So yeah, they don't use bash, they use something called fish. I didn't know about before. Like I'm not really into this type of thing. And uh, I, I was also pretty, pretty surprised by it. The KDE Lite version come with uh, custom apps and defaults. Oh, I didn't know that, okay. So yeah, maybe I should, I should go toward this one. You see, like re reinstalling like everything on my new hard drive is kind of a way for me to set up the process for my next install. You know, um, you know, backing up process, rest restoring everything. I don't plan to reinstall because I'm pretty happy about what I have right now. But I'm, I'm, I'm not going to ditch it yet. I like it. It just doesn't have the dragon theme and such. Yeah, okay. I, I might I might give it a try on a over SSD just to to get an idea about it. Does it come with like all the little tools like the snapper? I really like the sniper, the snapper approach. You know, so for people who doesn't know, like if you if you install Garuda, it comes with a lot of apps. And one of the apps I really like is called Snapper. And what it does is like each time you use Pac-Man, it makes a snap of your BRTFS um, partition. So you, you you just go there and you, you, you just press the button and go back. So you don't have to use the downgrade uh, tool from, from Arch, which is which is good too, right? But but I like it because sometimes you make huge upgrade and it's hard to find the packets which are actually impacting you. And it's it's a little bit of a problem, but there you just you just you just like use the, the snapshot from BTRFS and you're back on track. You use ZSK shell, okay. I'm I'm using fish right now. I think it's pretty cool. I always use bash for whatever reason. Maybe because I was just working on the server side and I never use any type of different shell like that. Fish is fun. 
so far, I, I like the experience. You know, and a lot of things that a lot of things are growing on me. A lot of things, dude. For example, KG. I was not a KG guy, and I have to admit, KG is pretty awesome. Because when I when I tried it, it was again like 14 or maybe almost two years ago. KGE was not as good as it is now. It, it's it's awesome, dude. I, I I like it. The performances game is better than XFCE from from my experience right now. I, I wouldn't go back to XFCE right now. I feel like it's it, it just feels smoother on the desktop. So what is VFAO gaming? Like you are talking about uh, passing through a graphic card, uh, no life? Escort. Delivery zone is clear, agent. Keep it that way. Yes, I am. It's really cool. Um, I've, I've been doing that on virtual machine like a long time ago for multimedia like type of like service and stuff so i, I know how to pass through um gpu and stuff the I, I don't really know what type of advantage I would get out of it, like, in my scenario. Because I'm guessing I need two GPU to do it, right? And then you have to share, I guess, the, the keyboard and the mouse, or like mouse with the, the VM you are doing. I don't, I don't know. How did he kill me? Like, the heck? I was on the other side of the wall. No, you just use a single. So, oh, you're gonna have to tell me that. So, what, you, what would you do? Is like, you will use Windows, for example. Like, well, just give me an example of what would you do. Eliminate the opposition. Keep them from advancing the package. How did I know you could do that? I can resupply the ammo on the... Okay... Oh, I hate this class, dude. I find it's really hard to move to Linux full time because my friend go play games that just don't work on Linux, so I use a single GPU pass through and it's great. Do you have any problem with uh, the anti cheat? Like, I'm pretty sure games like PUBG are just like hardcore binding people who are doing that. Surprise! Oh, 
Ok. Mister, I don't take my bullet, hello Oh, really no life, interesting. Lexi-SRC, I never heard about that. That's pretty dope, dude. Man. Yeah, I would love to, to try that. Okay. Eliminate the opposition. Keep them from advancing the package. That's interesting, man. So why? So why would you do that versus just running Windows? Like, what is the advantage? If most of the game you are using are on Windows, like, again, like, just, just curious. Hey, hello, Shevek. Am I using two GPU now? No, I'm not. I'm just, I'm just streaming from a single PC, one GPU right now. Forty nine cheated. I, I lose like, I don't know, like one percent or two percent FPS compared to my other system. My 1490 and my uh, Intel card doesn't fit in my in my PC case. <laughs> Believe it or not, <laughs> I just it, it doesn't fit inside. The 1490 is too big. I need to check the script, dude. Hi, just at the moment I do it. Nice shot, bud. Ah, oh, not you, our friend, no life. Okay, got it. Sorry. <gasps> oh, he missed me. Like I wasted there. Eliminate the hostile. Enemy packages. My VM gets seven core, fourteen thread. Hmm. So again, like I understand the system, but what what game would you play, for example? Like just just give us an example, Five, an example. Uh, no life. Four, I'm really curious about this. Two. I also need to redo a video about Overwatch because I stated before that Overwatch was just unplayable. 
And I was plenty wrong because what they have done on Overwatch, I think we're going to play a little bit after Overwatch uh, today. Um, they did such a great job making it work on Linux, at least like the team, like the dev of, of Proton, like it's, it's just insane. It works so good right now. And I, I want to share that with you guys. All Call of Duty's work and Rust works, all games that don't work on Linux, but don't have kernel anti-cheat like Valorant doesn't work. Oh, got it. Okay. So you can play Warzone 2. I, I thought they had a kernel anti-cheat. I thought Vanguard was a kernel anti-cheat. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty amazed by that, dude. So no life, you, you are confirming you can play Warzone 2 on a VM on Linux, like Windows VM on Linux. That's pretty interesting, dude. Oh man, the anti-cheat is really trash. So the, the real like only kernel Windows anti-cheat that works is, is Valorant. And in terms of like performance, like how, how, how much... How much performance lose you you would get like using this script just for us to have an idea that's pretty neat dude. like i have to say like it's it's pretty neat you can do that actually pretty neat Oh, wait, wait, let me get out of this mode. No? Um, okay, let's do one more. One more chat. Your Linux part kind of goes to sleep in a way, and when you shut down your Windows part, go back to Linux after two seconds. Wow, that's cool, man. Um, where, where did you find this script, No Life? Is this game name just an emotional joke? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean, bro? Escort. Refuse delivery of this package, agent. before they reach their delivery zone. Okay, I'm just doing uh Wait, chat. I'm gonna go old school like that. Hostiles nearing checkpoint. Loadout updated. Utilize. 
Okay, this gun is disgusting, dude. You lose the same amount of FPS you would lose using Proton, kind of. Okay, got it. So not that much. Was another one. <sighs> I'm gonna play higher than just here, like, there is no point of staying here, dude. Oh, they are just hiding there? What the? I found on Reddit GitHub, I had issue with the script, but I contacted the dev, I guess. Oh, interesting, man. That's a trick, like, right now, I have no interest of, like, running Windows at all, like, like, zero, dude. Obviously, like, sometimes you need it. But I think like it's it's easier for me to just install it on a separate SSD. Because I just don't use it, right? Damn. GG. Hey, see you the ACP. Thanks for passing by, buddy. Have a great rest of your day. Package, <laughs> I'll play so bad, chat. <laughs> like the timing there was golden. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> Last menu you were in really looked like it was a bunch of emoticon. Well, dude, like we tried the game. I think it's it's a good game. He has a lot of promises for sure. Um, I'm I'm not really that into it right now. Okay, there is some mods which are in my opinion better than over because they are a little bit more innovative. But, yeah, that's all for me. Not the type of game like when I was playing PUBG for the first time and I was like, whoa, this is insane, you know? I was just like, man. There is nothing new, dude. There is nothing new. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe, wait, wait, wait. Maybe we do... Let's do a, a ranked. Ooh, I'm bronze. <laughs> so what is it? What do we do with ranked?
I, I think the match starting and closing and loading map is just a little bit too long, in my opinion, chat. Like, it just... Hello. Okay, so this guy has a mic. Um, I'm not sure with that. Okay, I'm gonna continue to play with this one. Domination. I'll Why is it pushed out? On your Assault them at your discretion. Three, two, one. Your mission is to secure hey, the up? capture zone. Hostiles on A. Friendlies locking down zone C. Capture zone secured. Zone B compromised. I don't see the zone, dude. There is no earth trap. Friendly zombie. Hey, Lorasku, how are you doing? Is it playable? Ah, oh, I guess it is, dude. <laughs> Don't be compromised. How did I get this game? Uh, you you just need to watch a, a Twitch streamer. A professional courtesy. Friendlies on zone C. They give you a key and. Um, Damn, I should have waited there. Uh, I'll give you a key and then you have access to it. Simple as that. Man, competition mode is so different. You guys hear me? So it's like it's like the same game but without any HUD and like nothing. So I don't know if those guys are with me or not. It's just like it's weird, dude. It's really weird chat. But I'm not fan of it. So obviously it's a beta, right? So maybe they are still working on it. I can't tell who is who, like, this is just stupid, dude. Hostiles hold all capture zones. Start making some noise, Agent.
Taking C. Like, how do I know? Capture zone secured. Enemies on B. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, dude. Yeah, so it was against me. I have no idea what's happening, chat. This op's about to end, agent. I think it's just uh, this mod is trash, dude. So they need to work on it. On Can't make a competition if you have no idea what you are shooting for, like. Did you? Does the game feel stiff? Uh, not at all. The game plays really well, guys. Like you can see, like it's uh. Three, two, one. We're facing mission failure, agent. Zone C compromised. Oh, everybody left. I'm alone. The lethal force utilized. Yeah, ranked is not. Ranked is not where I thought it was. Just, just. Uh... Uh, what could we do? We tried all of it: escort, hot shot, domination. I didn't do occupy or zone control. Yeah, I'm gonna do my last. I'm gonna do a domination. Actually, no. Wait, wait. I'm gonna do a shot. A shot was the funniest one I, f I found. The, the game run well on Linux. Um, pretty easy to install. After it's it's a beta, right? Like nothing is perfect or smooth. Iron out, I would say. But it's not bad. I think it's the type of game you know you install it, and when you are bored, it's not like this. When you are bored, you want to run, you know, have fun for like one hour, two hours. You you you, you start the game and you enjoy. You know, simple as that. You shoot a lot of bullets, which is cool too. Hey, what's up? That's pretty dope. I don't think it's gonna revolutionize anything. It's just, you know, if you have the, you just want to have the, the good old feeling of the multiplayer of Call of Duty. Or someone else mentioned in chat, like a really old school of our game, like. Jump in it and, and get some kills. Hopefully, hopefully when they are out of beta they will put it on steam so it's more simple to steam deck linux user by the way yeah but it's not hard dude like sincerely like using lutris is not it's not hard but obviously yeah if you're on steam deck i, I get you I, I installed it in in less than five minutes the longest part is to download it the rest you have nothing to do like just Put the the wine G launcher, you know, the one from uh, Glow you say Grawl, and you're good to go. Like, don't think about it too hard. Like, watch, like, I'm streaming, playing on same card, 300 FPS. Not bad, dude. Watching 20p, like high settings. I couldn't shoot. <gasps> I, I was shooting, chat. I have intel on a new enemy hot shot. Check your ops at. Oh, 
Oh, it's odd. Enemy hot streak. New friendly hot shot detected. Pushing location to your op side. Bro, it's always that one dude, bro. Leave me alone. That was one interference, bro. It's never one on one in this shit, bro. You're in the hot seat, agent. Get those bounties. <laughs> uh, what GPU? I'm I'm using the 1490. You know, I was I was thinking about it uh, yesterday. I was like, I, I'm not sure I wanna take apart my PC again and again and again. Because you know, like those connectors on the 1480s, they have a lifetime, a life like a life expectancy kind of. I don't want to kill my 49 children. <sighs> nice shot. You're gonna try it on your Nobara? Yeah, it's it, it's working good, uh, Rask. Rask, you're, you're gonna like it, I think. Yeah. Hotshot! Oh dude, you got me good. <gasps> I got all on chat. You put a stop to that hot streak. We got their hot shot. Kitty Trover, dude. Hot shot is a friendly. Cover them. Hey, Electro, how are you doing, dude? What's up, bud? What's happening there? Get 
Sans, they were behind me. Your sprint doesn't seem to mind the odd stutter or low FPS, but I know. <laughs> so good, man. I was thinking about you the other day. Just had to reach out. So awesome. To... Yeah, I'm still at it, dude. It's it's not exactly as before. Um, because I'm streaming a little bit less. I, I become a dad, dude. So those days, like, I had to make, you know, like, strong decision. You too? Hey, congrats, dude. Uh, in May, two years ago, dude. May 2021, dude. Became a dad. What about you? Thank you, bud. Friendly hot shot killed in action. New hot shot is a tango. Sending coordinates. So guys, if you don't know Electro anymore, is it? He was one of the first um, member of La Creme de la Creme Club like years ago, dude. When I was on Twitch. And yeah, he's back, dude. Looks pretty awesome. Oh man, this guy is flying! Nice! It's a doubter too? Yeah, I have, I have a doubter too, dude. Awesome! This and doubter are awesome, dude. Well, boys too, but like... Doubter are awesome. It's pretty neat. Oh no! Not like that! He did it dirty to me, I think! We won! We won! It's a different vibe with the daughter. Yup. Hey, second! Hey, second for a big newbie like me, chat. My man. Solid Gray, thank you very much for the five gifted, dude. Let's go! Mr. Iso, Pravin, Sin Moria, No Life, and Roy the British. Welcome back to La Creme de la Creme Club, dude. Thank you very much, Solid Grave. Oh, now we have the bot losing his mind. <laughs> I like it. Hey, thanks a lot to this grave. I appreciate it, dude. He didn't have to, but... He helped a lot, my man. You have no ID. Gift because OG is stopping by. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That was a good time, man. That was a good time. Um, yeah, so I had to switch to YouTube. Uh, okay, Electro, I know you missed a lot. I, I know a lot of you guys know why I switched to YouTube, but long story short, on, on, on Twitch, I won uh, the American tournament of Escape from Tarkov. We reached like 1,000 sub, like, like, it was crazy, I had, like, man, it was insane. And uh, I still, I was still applying to, to become a partner. They never gave it to me. And then, uh, Twitch leaked all the, like, the revenue from the, like, they had, like, some type of attack, a breach of data. And someone leaked the top 10,000 creator. And dude, I was in it. And those guys, I was one of the only ones to be in the top 10,000 and not have a partnership, bro. And I was like, dude, like, I can't stay there. Like, it's, it's just so unfair, buddy. 
and I just and I just like left. I'm like I'm I'm out. I I, I don't want to deal with this anymore. Like I'm out. I think I applied like seven times, dude. So, dude, I was not like the richest one. Like, don't be don't be clear. Like, like you know, I want to be clear with you guys. Like, some of those guys, like you know, they were making like millions a year. Like, I was really really far from that, at least from a Twitch standpoint. Like, I was really far, but still. Like everybody around me, around the list, because I had access to the list, obviously. Um, they were all partner with me. No, no partner for Armax. So I was pretty upset, dude. So you know, like I, I, I did believe on their own, like on their end, they, they, they pretty effed up. You know, they pretty effed up, like, they, it, it's a level of effed up. Because my, my community was always like, hey, why don't we just have only five emotes? Well, I'm not partner. Neutralize hostiles, collect their bounties. Not your typical echelon mission, but we're not here to question orders. Three, two, one. When you told me to get the, the, the game come from Twitch, I said like, hey, I'm good. I will wait for, for it to come out. <laughs> oh, you don't want to get there? Yeah. You know, like it... Uh, I think a lot of like viewers, they didn't understand my move, so I made a video about it, but they did... Like some of them, they didn't even know. Like, I, like I'm pretty sure, like some of my followers, they still don't know I left. Like they, they still don't know it yet. They are like, oh, Air Max isn't streaming anymore. Well, I, I just put like hundred of stream on YouTube, but they, were, you know. Hey, thank you, Electro. I appreciate it, dude. Oh, you know where to find me. But it's a good life life lesson, right? Like, you're not married to any platform and everything. Like, it's more like... People who enjoy watching it, they will come and watch you anyways. Um, well, you know, today's YouTube, maybe two years from now, is going to be something else. Who knows? You live and you learn, Enchat. You still found your way back? That's right. Yeah, that's that's cool. Thank you very much for being around. It, it kind of gives me the nostalgia vibe, you know? I like it. So yeah, at the time I was doing... Uh, a custom game on PUBG and and we played with uh, with Electro and and some of our viewers are like on PUBG together. It was a really fun experience. Collect bounties from fallen enemies, become the hot shot. You read the brief. New hot shot is a tango. Sending force. Revenge kill. Oof. Professional courtesy. You're on deck to be the next hot shot if you keep this up. Dude, I've always been a hot shot. Come on. Stop to that hot streak. You're in the hot agent. Friendly hot shot killed in action. New friendly hot shot. You miss those days? Um, yeah, me too, dude. I was good. Neutralize immediately. Enemy hot streak. We were young. Now we are old, dude. But especially you, you became a dad. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing that because I, I became a dad too, okay? Like, I can I can chop him a little bit. Ah, oh, GG. So I don't play PUBG anymore, and I, I don't use Windows anymore. Like, big change, dude. Friendly hotshot is a friendly. Cover them. Friendly hotshot is earning major bounty points. Keep him alive. I made the switch to Linux and I was like, dude, this is actually awesome. 
I wanna make content about it, like people need to know. Electro, welcome back to la crème de la crème club, papa. Thank you very much for your support, dude. Thanks a lot, buddy. Appreciate it. Dadding ages you. <laughs> yep. Oh, I got owned. Thanks a lot, buddy. Thank you very much. I don't know how many sub we have. Like, I don't, I don't want to look at it. It's gonna put me in a bad vibe. <laughs> so, we have, we have a lot, but not as crazy as before, dude. So thank you very much, buddy. Thank you very much. Guys, again, if you enjoy the show, don't forget to to support. It does help. Okay. As we see in France, he put butter in the in the pasta. <laughs> now I have at least seven. Thank you, dude. Well, to my defense, I, I, I don't stream that much anymore. I stream like at least once a week or three times a week. Because I'm trying to create more video on YouTube. And um, yeah, I, I'm kind of a noob at it. So there is a lot of learnings and stuff, but I'm getting there dude. I'm trying not to do gameplay video, like I, I want to do more than that. Video which are like called Evergreen. And some of those videos they had like 20,000 views, like it, it's it start to get there, but it's just like... It takes time, dude. Okay, I'm gonna do the John Wick. And I died. <laughs> Check your op fat. Oh boy, I suck at this game. Enemy hot shot is active. Neutralize immediately. My video YouTube for video are my YouTube video are great. Hey, thank you, no life. Appreciate it, man. <sighs> yeah, just uh I, uh I'm not as fast as I would like to be. You know when when it comes to creating video. I have I have like a pa a paper I have a huge paper with a lot of like video I want to create. It just takes me so much time to get there. To, to get them ready and you know well produced and... You made me start using Linux again? Nice. Friendly hotshot detected. Pushing location to your offset. Trust me, man. I get it. Time is a valuable thing. Yeah. You actually, you see, this, this is a good, this is a good uh, way of looking at things. Damn, I'm not the player of the game again. Um, that's a really good way to to look at it. Time is a valuable thing, but I think you start to realize it when you have a child. Like, okay, L let me let me explain, because I'm pretty sure there is a lot of viewer who doesn't have child or children in chat. Okay, but when you get a child, you start to really realize it, dude. It's like whoa! It's like it's a game changing. You realize it before, but when you get a child, it's like someone come and like slap you every morning with his hand closed and tell you your type is valuable. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's like it's another level of it. You agreed with it too, Solid Grave? That's crazy, yeah, man. Like it's like Oh, you're talking about that, the emoticon page? Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is. 
Oh, it's an emojicon pack. We're gonna get it. <laughs> Look at those emojis. Um, yeah. So... And you know, like... If you look at my videos, there is a lot of videos where people are just like, Hey, I can't understand your, a word of what you are seeing on your YouTube video. I'm like, okay. It always been like that. So it kind of like give me an anxiety when I start to record something on YouTube. Because I would like it to be perfect. But obviously with my, you know, immigration background, I just can't speak uh, like, you know, like the American English. Or the English English, you know, from Cambridge or Oxford or whatever. So it's kind of like... Put me a little bit behind. And then you have all the technicity related to YouTube where... You know, how to get retention in your video. How, you know, to create like better each time you create a video. And if you really want to improve, you have to put time into it. You know, the lightning, the, the camera angle, the text... You know, everything. It's not easy, dude. So, yeah. That's it, man. Like, it's it's super time consuming. So I would love to make like three videos a week. But reality is like, if I do one video a week, I'm a god at this time. I'm just a god until I get better at it, I guess. Don't think about it too hard. Like free video and free like one video and free stream, I'm a god. Three, two, one. Get the most bounty. And then you watch like someone like Linus Textif who produce like 40 videos a day uh, a week. 40 videos, dude. And you know how many they are? 100 produce like 100. He has 100 plus employees, dude. So obviously the quality of his video are like insane compared to mine, right? But like, if I want to add value to one of my video, I need to prepare it. I need to, you know, come with like something which is real and like not done. It's just insane, bro. Like, and just putting like gameplay of myself, it's it's just not worth it because everybody is doing it. Good work. You're about to go from secret agent to hot shot if you keep this up. You're yeah, I'm the hot, hot shot, shot, Papa. Shot. Keep a cool head and get those bounties. We've got their hot shot. Ah, oh, couldn't use the, the escape. Yeah, yeah, 40, 40 video a week, man. Like, it's, it's, it's impossible. But yeah, that's why I'm at, dude. That's the whole story. I kind of lose contact with all the gamers I was playing with before. For whatever reason, you know, uh, different time schedule, um, different platform too, I don't know. Some loose friendship, I, I don't know, dude. But I'm still here. Yeah, Shoko always had bet doing the YouTube. Oh yeah, for sure. Dude. I I did I did my YouTube video too when I was doing the gameplay. But what kind of like frustrated me is like I will do a video of a gameplay. Okay. Like for example, I will play with with Shoko, and it will have like I don't know 100,000 video on the, on the gameplay. And on my hand, I would have like 100 views. I was like, dude. How is it possible? Like, it's the same gameplay. It's me playing with Shoko, dude. It's, it's us. And it's not jealousy or whatever. I just like... Why would I put time in it if I just get 100 views? And... You know, it's, it's just not worth my time. Gameplay vids are not the move. Tutorial, yeah, I agree. But like tutorial and informative video are way harder to to do, buddy. Or like way harder. Like, or at least if you want to do quality, right? And get some view. 
It's it's tango. really hard, man. Enemy hot shot is active. Check out their hot shot. Good work. You're in the hot seat, agent. Ah, I'm sorry. Hot shot. I'm not in the hot seat anymore. <laughs> You can sink hours into videos that don't get the return. Exactly, man. That's, that's the issue. I think I've made like 100 of them. Oh, I have 100 gameplay on one of my playlists. Of PUBG and whatever. So most most of the like bigger streamers, they, they had a, a video editor, you know, like Beth and whatever. But they have one because they can pay one. Like me, with the view I will generate, I, I was never able to reach there. At least on YouTube, right? On Twitch, I had like one plus million views. Like it was... My Twitch channel was super successful, dude. Think about it. But, yeah, they didn't treat me well, but brother. That's so cool. Yeah, it is. So you have new platform now. Uh, like Kick, Rumble. There is a ton of platform we are doing, like streaming. Even Facebook. I think Facebook is closing now. Like their, um, you know, streaming gaming platform. But there is alternative to Twitch, which is great. Uh, I, I don't really hate, you know, Twitch. I don't really care, to be fair. But I'm like, it's good that competition come like that. They can't. They can't use their position of leadership to, to take advantage of content creator. You know, that's, that's what I think it's good. It's like when you have a monopoly in any type of business, it's it can be pretty, you know, bad. Like, uh, think about Walmart, for example. Oh, Damn, you got me. New friendly hotshot detected. Pushing location to your offset. I remember the day when I was just you and I and like two over the afternoon and I was the only one watching. Yeah, true. Yep. Hot yeah, man. I don't know what happened there. What happened, dude? New hot shot is attended. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> I destroyed this guy. I was good. Mission success. Competition improved market. That's right. Just cool to hear you. Talking about off like that could not happen to a better person. Yeah. That's that's what it is, dude. You have to you have to try things. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. I'm pretty lucky about it. You know, sometimes I have the nostalgia about a lot of things, you know, like my home, like like Twitch, some of our stuff, but you know, I keep have to, to move forward and do what you think is right. So what is my opinion on kick? Um, oh, let's talk about it. I'm, I'm gonna have to stop the game for that because I think it's um, it's it's a big topic, dude. Let me see. Oh la la, la crème de la crème club, a new croissant is the best club on internet. Oh la la, la crème de la crème club. Dude. <laughs> Dude, what is this? We Ooh just la la, we just got the, the alert. A new croissant the best club on internet. We just Ooh got la the la, alert. La crème de la crème club. A oh. new croissant the best club on internet. It doesn't stop? Okay, uh, I think it's broken. I'm gonna have to change the bot too. <laughs> you broke the bot chat. Hey, thank you, Electro. Thanks for passing by, buddy. I appreciate it. 
Have a great rest of your day, okay, dude? With your family. That's good. Good to see you, man. So what is my opinion on kick? Let's talk about it, chat. I want to talk about that. Maybe we're going to make a video about that too one day, but... Mm. I think it's a good thing for the industry to have another player entering the game, okay? As Electro said, like, more competition is good, okay? Because it will improve the overall landscape for the content creator, but also, like, for people who are involved with this industry, okay? Let's say the, you know, the advertiser, everybody else. And I know it's a odd topic, dude. It's a odd topic because first is related to gambling. Okay. Because the owner of Kick is the owner of Stacks. And they use the platform of Kick to promote their own like gambling business. Okay, that's that's the first odd tech. To me it's not a hot tech, but I would say for the you know, like, common viewer, I guess, or people want to, you know, learn about the platform and stuff, it would be hot tech. My opinion towards that is really clear. Twitch is also supporting gambling. Amazon is also supporting gambling. It will be hypocrite to believe that gambling is not present on both of those platforms. Whether it's your main, you know, main source of income or not. If you are supporting it, yeah, you are with it. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like... And it's just my opinion, okay? So, to me, it's a no problem. It, it's, it's just a way to... I don't know, talk about the platform, I guess, in a negative way where it, it, it doesn't need to happen. Because we could talk about the, the other platform the same way. That's that's my two cents, okay, about kick. For for this point, the second point is the fact that they have some type of partnership with content creators, which are controversial, right? So you have like this guy. I think it's called Adin Ross. I, 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 I'm, I'm not into this type of content, to be fair. Like, uh, you know, I have a family, I have a daughter. Like, I, you know, it's, it's not my type of content. And I heard he's... He has been doing and seeing a lot of, like, stupid things. More than stupid, actually. And I think the controversy towards that is, like, Kik is partner with him. Like, you know, like, they have a partner with him, so indirectly they support this type of, like, nonsense. Um, and I, I think it's a fair point. It's a fair point because if they want to become, like, more, like, established in the industry, they're going to have to... Uh, get, get rid of this type of behavior. Partner or not partner on everything, because... You know... It's, it's, in my opinion, it's not acceptable. On the other hand, it's easy to, to blame a platform like Kik, which is at the beginning of, of its existence. And, you know, not look at what, what is the other platform are actually doing. You know? Like Twitch, uh, man, like... They, they, are not, uh, they are not super clean, huh, man. Like, they are not super clean, huh? I will talk about my my case, for example, dude. Like, they are not clean at all. Okay? Like, if you think... You know, if, if, if you are someone like XQC and you are living out of Twitch, you already have a big incentive of not talking bad about the platform, right? Because you are shooting yourself in the foot. Me, I've, I've, I've no link to Twitch anymore, neither with Kick, so, you know, 
my my vision is pretty like uh, uh, how to explain um, like you know I've, I, I have no no interest of defending one platform or another right and I'm telling you like they are not they are not clean they are still in the gambling you know business no matter what you think they are in it uh, I've seen some of the ads like the, the the way they they treat the content creator is really bad. They're just just for people who who don't know, like um, they charge fifty percent. So okay, let, let let me go through it really clear. If you have like the special contract in Twitch, some people have them, some people have not, and the way they have those contracts is really like behind the scene type of deal, which suck because you have no transparency of the content creator. Um, you can make between so 70% of what the viewer give you or 50% of the viewer give you. And this is what we know. Maybe some of the viewers they have higher cut. Sorry, maybe some content creators they have higher cut. We don't know, right? But like, let's say, let's say I'm playing with someone who has a 70% cut and me, I'm a 50% cut. You come to the channel, you spend $100. I will make... 50 like a little bit less like 45 50 I mean, let's say 50 but the other dude i'm playing with and you're going to give 100 dollars to is going to make 70 dollars and again it's not it's not a jealousy issue like i don't really care like if if the guy is partner and he made it i'm happy for him right or her it's more it's it's more the approach it kind of like put a, a ethical way like it just puts the ethic through the garbage to me. Okay, like that's that's an issue for me. Because if you are doing the same job, and if 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 the viewer wanna give you his cash or her cash, whatever, like you know, wanna give you cash, it, it should be the same distribution no matter what. So I know they come with a lot of like excuse and whatever, but this is the reality of what Twitch is. And on the other hand, Kick uh, is distributing to everyone, whatever their statue is, 95% of the money. So if I was streaming on Kick, someone give me $100, I will make $95 out of it. So, you know, from a viewer standpoint, it, it doesn't change anything really. Because you are like, I still gave $100. But you have to think from the create content creator standpoint, it's a huge cut, man. It's a huge, huge cut. So that's why, and especially those times, like, you have to think it about this way. We are in a recession, right? No, no, nobody want to call it this way, but inflation is through the roof. Um, nothing is going, like, really good in the economy right now. And people are going to donate less, and it's okay, right? I'm not blaming the viewer. But if you are a Twitch streamer right now, and you see someone else streaming on kick and making 45% more. You're like, dude, like I'm I'm getting robbed. You know, so I think I think a lot of content creators are, are gonna switch. Because they just don't see the value added of Twitch. They don't see it. Just the chat, obviously, like kick is still growing and whatever, but that's the direction it's going to take. So do you think Kik will last more than two years? Um, I think Kik is going to last way more than two years, dude. Like just my take, you know, I, I don't have a, you know, like a ball, future ball I can read into. But I think uh, Kik is going to be there for way more than that. Because, okay, th my argument is like, Stake, the owner of Kik. Well, I read an article and the estimation of the money they make, they make like between 20 and 35 million uh, dollars a week. That's how much money they make. Dude. Between 20 and 35 million. And I'm talking about net, right? It's, I'm not talking about gross income. I'm talking about net income. After paying everyone and, and whatever, they make between 20 and 35 million. Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong, but I, I don't think I am because I read the thing. I made the calculation and stuff like it kind of makes sense. 
So a company generating this amount of cash, you know, like owning a streaming platform is not that expensive, dude. You know, like it's not, it's not what Twitch make you want to think about. Like it's, it's not that expensive. At least for them, right? So I do, I do believe they could. Uh, when you see people like platform like Mixer shutting down, it's not because you have to think it from a Microsoft standpoint. It's not because they could not gen like they could not entertain it. Microsoft had the money and still has the money to entertain it. They didn't entertain it because they were losing money out of it, too much money. But a, a company like Kik, they knew it's going to be a loss of money anyways. So their vision is like, instead of paying advertisement on a platform like Twitch, even if they are not with them anymore, they can't. Because Twitch, long story short, Twitch was working with Steak, but Twitch banned Steak from the platform. And they are working with over like gambling company. So from a company standpoint, instead of allowing like, you know, 20 million a month into advertising on Twitch, but now you, you, you put 20 million a month on, uh, adver on, you know, maintaining a platform. And, and the big, the big, you know, they don't care, right? Because like for them, it's like nothing. It's like, oh, yep, let's, let's do it. So are they going to be there in two years? I think time will tell to see if the platform itself is able to generate enough like leads for their business because this is what it is at the end of the day it's business right i think it will i think it will because dude this is this twitch versus kick uh dilemma has been so huge when you think about it it's just free advertising for them dude everybody knows about kick everybody the more drama they have the more visibility they have whether you like it or not. And you know, if you are a gambler, there is a high chance you're gonna get there anyways. Anyway, that was just my two cents, dude. I just wanted to talk a, a little bit about it. Um, yeah. So now the question is like, will I be streaming on Kick? We, we have been streaming on Kick multiple times. You know, uh, they they have nothing against the fact that we multi-stream. Is it a great source of income for me? No. Is it the future of this stream? I don't think so. But we are there. You know, no problem. We'll see how it goes. You know, what, I, what I've learned from a content creator standpoint is like, you are not married with one platform. It will be a huge mistake to think that you are successful because of the platform. You are not. You are, you are successful because of the work you put. Whatever platform it is. As simple as that. That's, that's the way I see it. And if you are not successful, it's on you. That's, that's how I feel about it. Okay. Uh, let's take a quick, a quick break, dude. Yeah, let's take a quick break. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink some water and have a little like, um, uh, how do we say that? Die your break, dude. I will be back. Give me five minutes, please.
All right. I'm back. Um, you know, I would say like... Oh, wait, I forget something. I would say like if you if you want to start like if you are into content creation, um, the only the only place you should start is YouTube. It's it's a tough one, dude. Let's let's be honest. It's a really really tough one, dude. Because YouTube is uh, hyper competitive. You have people who have been there for decades, who have all the material to like just create top notch video and the experience too, right? Uh, but it is, in my opinion, the only place where you can create like some type of content and be available to everyone all the time. Being a streamer is just no, no reliable enough. It's, it's just not good enough. You know, that's why I'm, I'm trying to do like as much as I can on YouTube. But... Um, just streaming is not it's just not good enough dude you, you you put yourself in a position where if you don't stream one day well you can't eat long story short you see the youtube video i put like two years ago they are still making views they are still like doing a good job right for me so it's not like time wasted and, and this is a plan right because if you don't have this stability in terms of income, like it, it, it messes up with your mind. I know I've, I made some of my stream while and I was not myself because I would wake up and I was like, dude, like my, my sub, sub number is going down. This is tough, right? This is tough. And, and I'm facing the camera. So the viewer, they see it. They see you're not in a good, in a good pace. You know, and even for yourself, like it's just bad mentally. And you can't blame the viewer not, um, you know, supporting you. You know, it's just unfair, right? Like, if you can support me and you want to support me, well, that's good. But if you can't, you know, I can't, I can't be blaming anyone for that. But it still puts you in a weird state of mind because you are like, how, how can I, you know, how can I grow? How can I make sure I have enough? food on my plate you know on a daily basis it's, it's tough it's really tough and not you see i made a video about it like i invite you to watch it it's really tough <laughs> you know I've, I've done something i still have them in my mind like i've done something where for example i had a i had a tarkov 24 hour stream planned it was a huge opportunity for me to shine because, Occupied. you know, like Marking Tarkov was really awesome. big at the time and I was a Tarkov partner and whatever. Three. So I was like, you know, it's, it's going to be great. It's going to give visibility to my stream. And I had to, um, I had, I had a funeral this day and I couldn't go there because I had the, the 24 hour stream, dude. Like, think about it. This, you know, it's stupid, but it's that type of life decision like that, where you are in a position where you need to work. Yeah, you... And it was not a two-hour stream, dude, or three-hour stream. It was 24 hours. <gasps> capture zone contested. Remember the mission. Get on the capture zone. I got shots from everywhere. Uh, do you think Tarkov? Yeah, I hope so. Problem of Tarkov right now is not Linux. Dude. Like, they have so many cheaters. It's disgusting. I think they have so much work to 
to work on dude it's, it's just insane Parkov is like in a really really bad shape today dude I, I love this game but at the time already I was uh, I was not happy about the state of the game when I stopped playing it You watch that video? Uh, which one, Solid Grave? Oh, they banned you, no life? What did you do, dude? Hey guys, make sure you... Okay, on YouTube, make sure you press... You press uh, the live button on the bottom left to make sure like you... You're actually watching the live. I think some of you guys are a little bit behind. For whatever reason. I can see it in chat. Dude. Oh, the, okay, got it. Okay, okay. The the video where the guy, yeah. Man, it's it's a good and bad video at the same time. It kind of intensifies like people to, to cheat, right? Capture zone is moving. We're locking down the zone. You know, as as a streamer, even if you see cheat, you 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 don't wanna you don't wanna talk about it too much because it kind of kills the vibe of the stream and give a, a negative perception of the streamer. Like, how to explain? Let's say I see someone cheating here and someone new come on the channel and is like, "Oh, this guy is so bad. He think everybody cheat, right?" So it's it's something you try to avoid in general and i did it a lot on tarkov i was blaming dsync and, st and stuff like that but deep down i knew like some of those guys are on the team and um it kind of like pushed me away from the game because i was so tired of noticing like i was dying to some weird stuff all the time dude. And this guy with his video, he, he just kind of like confirmed the fault of everybody else. A professional you know? Zone compromised. It's really hard for me to say someone is cheating. I'm, I'm really careful about that. But listen, dude. Tarkov has a cheating problem, like for real, like. And I knew it before the video. Again, it just confirmed it. Oh man. How many lives she had? Like, what the heck? Crazy buddy. Yeah. I think to like to be clear, like if, if he come to Linux, I'm not even sure I would be playing the game. We had a lot of like member of like creme de la creme club who discovered me on Tarkov who came I think it was two weeks ago and they were telling me like we can't play Tarkov anymore dude we are just burned out of the game like you know and I, I don't blame them I don't blame them at all dude
Whoa! Take and keep that capture zone. Capture zone contested. We're locking down the zone. Capture zone is moving. Zone under assault. Ha, oh, you got me. Nice bridge. Did you? We are getting owned. We were doing well and now we are just getting destroyed. So the way it works is like the zones are moving, right? So you have to like... Oh, this guy was jumpy, huh? Have you ever played the rest? About it! <laughs> and I never played it. <laughs> About it once. I think it was on sale or something like that. I never played it. It doesn't work on Linux, right? I think it does not. Or on specific server, you can you can play on server that doesn't have to cheat. I think. Nice jump. Capture zone is moving. We're on the zone. Ah, okay. Got it. Okay. I like a ping system. Remember the mission. Get on the capture zone. Allies on the zone. We lost. GG. You got the win, agent. Are there still a, a bunch? Oh, we won? <laughs> we won, dude. Okay, I will take that. Um, are there still a bunch of extraction game coming out? I don't know, dude. One game, like the cycle was there, right? Um, yes. 46 kill? What the heck? Insane! 46 kill, chat. I don't know. I didn't hear a lot of, about, you know, um, extraction game for sure. Those days. Oh. You know, I know the game, one of the game you like, chat. 
the one with the pistol and the zombie and the what's the name of it dude the, it play in the marécage in the oh man i'm tired what is this game chat there is another one which is an extra extra ten loot like type of game like that Unshowdown. Yeah, exactly. It works on Linux now. I remember, I think Timmy was telling me like you need to, yeah, like you need to get this game. It's actually a really good game. I never bought it. And it works on Linux now. So maybe a game we could dive into. But guys, I, I got, listen chat, during the, the sales of Steam, I bought so many games we have to go through. Like so many games, but I don't game enough. You know, if I play three hours like that, I can go through the game. I, we didn't even finish uh, Hogwarts Legacy. I didn't finish it. I'm at like 65% or something like that. I don't know if they are moving on to something else. Kind of feels like there isn't a big land rush for a new type of game. Yeah. I think it's pretty... I agree with you. It's pretty stale right now. One, secure the capture zone. I'll keep you apprised of its location. It's it's gonna be a long time before we We're locking down the zone. we beat BR boys. It's gonna be a long, long time. Dude. Remember the mission. Get on the capture zone. Uh, counter strike. The next counter strike could be fun. Problem with counter strike is like it's not it's not awesome to watch. I would say. Capture zone. You know, like it's like. For a content creator standpoint, it's kind of made it. <laughs> nice shot. Capture zone is moving. FPS Elden Ring is what we need, for sure, dude. I was actually so good Elden Ring. You know, I didn't finish it, chat. Huh? We, we need to finish this game, too. Oh, nice shot, buddy. The zone is danger. So, after testing, I like the MP9 better. I like the MP9 better. Zone Maybe I need to get used to it. Uh, what? I was playing Hogwarts on Linux. Uh, some of it. We say most of it, yeah. It works super well on Linux, dude. Like, super well. The only thing is, like, I couldn't use DLSS free. It's not ready on Linux yet. So I, I, I was kind of like upset about the fact I couldn't have like, you know, 300 FPS. With DLSS 3, I can have like 300 FPS in the game. It's just crazy, man. But otherwise, I would be like at 200, 250. Nice shot. So some of the game are on Linux, some of the game are on Windows. Because also I was doing those over video, right? Yeah, this gun doesn't really shoot where you, you aim at. It's weird. Taking 
200 FPS to cast a shoe. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Like, it's like... It's not really about the 200 FPS. It's the fact that I can get more and I don't have it because of Linux. Because of the fact they don't support GLSS 3 yet. He didn't see that coming, this guy. So that he brains the guy. I run it la chief since I have it We're streaming to the chief upstairs. Hmm, got it, yeah. Nice shot, dude. I see, you. I see you, Papa. And nobody's here. Okay, don't take your bullet, bro. It's all good. Oh, got it, yeah. Moonlight is pretty decent. But I heard it's not good as uh, the NVIDIA one. What is your feedback on it, dude? Because you heard the news, right? We're down the zone. They, they are going to stop uh, the NVIDIA Shield support. It's it's crazy, dude. Zone under assault. Oh, nice shot, buddy. Taking keep that capture zone. Capture zone is moving. We're on the zone. Why was he looking the other way, dude? I was like, I don't like this mod because there is no story. Right? You, you go from one end to another, it's like, like you just run around and shoot stuff. I think the best mod, in my opinion, is um, the one we are playing as, where you have to kill the, the, the best killer and and be the, the best player. This one is fun, dude. This is those one. The zone one is not great. I don't think the girlfriend can tell the difference. <laughs> Got it, dude. What was that? Here comes that deep down, please. Oh, that's the Statue of Liberty I just noticed. We're on the zone. It's a bit finicky to for her to set up. But she can launch it without me at least. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's nice, man. Yeah, I heard, I heard really good about it. So. Don't shot hmm got it that's good man 
pretty great. Right that's, that's actually pretty good. Oh, oh no! I found it. <laughs> okay, it's too random. This game is like this mod is too random for me. Like, what was this guy doing here? Like. My need is gonna pay out. Okay, we won, did you? Mission accomplished. I tried. So which one I tried? I tried the one uh, integrated in Steam on Linux, and I couldn't make it work, buddy. Really. And the lag is insane. Like the the input lag is huge. I wanted to try Moonlight, but. Yeah, I never already went into it because I have an Nvidia Shield in my uh, living room, and I tried to play uh, some video game with my uh, my little wife, you know. <laughs> and the input lag was so bad. I think the Shield is a, is a way out, but you don't have GeForce experience on uh, on Linux, so the alternative is Moonlight, but they don't use the same technology, at least when I looked at it, than GeForce. So it kind of like, I think Moonlight is in between Steam and and geforce geforce experience was really good when i tried it when i was running windows like it was really really good after really really good okay so we did we did try all of them how was the stream experience on your hand no problem huh with a uh, one graphic card stream here I think we did good, chat. I think we did good. Um, I'm gonna end the stream now. We're gonna go back. So next week, again, I'm gonna try to, to put uh, more video out. Uh, I would like to make, uh, yeah, more videos. Um, yeah, hopefully next week I'm gonna get there. Looking great, nice. So guys, don't don't forget, uh, guys. Thank you very much for the support. Studied great, thank you. I think Electro uh, became back uh, a creme de la creme club member. So it's just insane. Guys, thank you very much for the love. Like, you didn't have to do it, you still did it. So thanks a lot. Okay. I appreciate it. I will be back uh, Monday or Wednesday. We'll see. We're gonna, I'm going to start to push more video chat. I just, I just need more time. I will get there. Thank you very much for watching. Um, have a great rest of your weekend. Take care of your family if you can. And yeah, we'll be around, okay? Thanks again for everything. Bisous, bisous. I am out.